Welcome back. This is Archie Silver with Philip Gutierrez, MMA fighter. In this series of videos, we're going to go over uh, some cradles, cross face cradle, near side cradle. Uh, we're going to go over some tie ups, inside tie up, outside tie up, elbow. Um, and then we're going to go into a high C, and then from a high C to a fireman's. Uh, these are all fundamentals. Uh, these are um, the way you start every move, and then from there you have intermediate and advanced ways to do all these moves, right? So, first one is, um, go ahead Fidel, go ahead and get on your all fours. And the first move we're going to do is a cross face near side cradle, right? Uh, so the opponent just falls and he lands in his fours. I follow the body and I make sure that I'm about to get into control. But then, my opponent all of a sudden gives me a near side cradle. He steps with this leg and I said, okay, cool, there's a near side cradle. So at this point, my left hand starts coming over his head, um, scooping that head, and my right hand comes into uh, the knee to, so that I can now at this point lock my hands, right? So as I lock my hands, I have an inside near side cradle. I push my head on his rib cage, I can take him over. I keep pushing, push, so here, as a wrestling move, I want to take his back to the mat so I can pin him, right? At this point, pin. Um, I could then take go if I wanted to. This was Jiu-Jitsu or MMA. And from here, I keep the head. I can keep positioning to a full mount if I wanted to. Okay, one more time. He lands. I come in. He steps. I said, cool. Inside cradle. Right here. Cut the head, the leg, push here. I can use some strength and just kind of tilt him over. And now his, his whole body comes over. Same solution. Cradle. All right. So the next one, back on the bottom of the bill, is going to be a cross face cradle. So my opponent is here. Same scenario. I land on top of him. All of a sudden, he steps on this leg. I said, cool, another cradle. This time, I'm coming with a cross face, grabbing the backside of his tricep, coming over with my hand underneath the leg, spinning over just a bit so I can get in control of my hand here. Once I get the hand, I switch my step, I lock the hand, and I start taking up to the back. All right? Here, he can be pinned. I can kick his leg out to bring it down here. Now he's really caught and he can be get pinned. I can stand up, step here, and do some other kind of damage. All right, one more to go. Here, he steps, cross face, come across. I can initially just take my step here, land here, and then I just push and push him back. I can scoot my hips up, get on my knees, and do a few things. But here, I got the cross face cradle, and once I'm comfortable, I can release and do what I want. Come back, cross face cradle. All right? So it's two different kinds of cross faces with a cradle. There's a third one. The third one. It's going to be, right back down to that. I'm going to force this cradle. And this particular cradle is going to be a cross face cradle, right? So I land on the body. As I land here, I'm going to reach for the cross face. Grab the tricep. My right knee starts coming behind me. And the plink is between the knees, right? I'm over here lifting the body, bringing him in. At the same time, I'm concentrating on my knee to get his leg and get it ready for my cross face cradle. Same finish. I step across. I can come here, look for the pin, come up, and just control the body. Okay? So, this one I'm forcing. I'm using a little muscle maybe, but technique as well, right? So we're behind him, cross face, 
I step with my knee in between his legs. I start kicking his knee out, crunching his body, come underneath, lock my hands, switch my leg position, and basically end up wherever I want. Okay? All right, Phil. Let's go over those three from the, from the parterre position it's called. All right, first one, inside cradle, step up. Good job. So on that one, inside cradle. Okay, outside cradle. You pull it over seven steps up, locks it up, cross face. Okay, finish. All right, last one. Yeah, you're gonna force that cradle in there, right from the cross face, right? Anyway. Jump. Nice. All right, one more. Inside cradle. Ready? Inside. Mm. Okay, ready? Outside cradle. Mm. All right. Good job. So, here in a bit, we're going to go over the same cradles, but when the body's flat. So in this case, all these cradles was when your opponent ends up on his forward, his parterre position. All right? Good job, man. The next cross face cradle move that we can do is from the standing position. The cross face cradle um, can be done in this way where if you're tied up with your opponent and all of a sudden you get an angle where you come up across the side of the body and you get the front head lock here. In this case it's going to be a near side cradle, right? You bring his head close to his knee and you come across and you grab the cradle. At this point you can just drop him and try to stay, take him straight to his back. Right? Knees. Come across. So, <clears throat> once again, cross face cradle from the standing position. I'm going to near side cradle. You can pummel the head down, front head lock, come across, lock it up, and take it forward. Okay? So that's a cradle from the standing position. Here. Jump. So there you go. That's cross face or rather near side cradle in the standing position. Jump. Here, cross face, and all of a sudden we start stepping in the middle with my first knee comes in. No, I start coming here, right? Kind of lift a little, right? So the point is on this one, you didn't have to step. I just kept behind you, and I forced it. Uh -huh. Okay, so same thing. So we're just here. Oh, I said I'm just on top. That's okay. Cool. I got this. The cross face. I start getting the right knee behind your your leg, and then just start kind of like leap, uh, reaching for this leg. And then we just lock it up. Okay, so lay flat. <laughs> so the same thing, I got room right here. I want to go to the cross face. Kind of lift you up so that I can be able to lift, yeah, can lift the pillars so I can be able to twist the body like a curve. Here, I can punch, I just keep going, keep going. So, you know, you're gonna. <laughs> I'm going to get you there. Um, <coughs> uh, so, so those cross face cradles, we'll go for the flat, and then we'll go for the forward. Yeah, the flat, and then we'll come up, show that one. 
Um, and then and then we'll show that one, the right and left knee, and then also the three positions, and then just get behind you and force it on you. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden you're just behind you, like you're right knee, right? You're just, you're just there waiting for, for a reaction. All of a sudden this dude, for whatever reason, just comes up. Boom. Yep. You lock it up. And then from there you have different finishes. You can push forward, you can roll it to the side. Let's see what, let's see what comes natural. Yep. Okay. Boom. So that's that's the way you'll go, right? So that's how you'll take it. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of work the way around. So now, same position. Actually, yeah, same position. You just kind of instead of looking for something, this time you're gonna force the cross face cradle. Boom. Yep. What's next? Because you're forcing it, right? So your right knee go, go behind my ankles, you know? And now, exactly. And now you kind of lift me and just kind of accordion. Lift me into an accordion. And your knee. So go ahead, finish it. Yep. Right, the second one, the third one, is you're here. You're just kind of heavy body waiting. All of a sudden, there's just steps here. Boom, exactly. And now we're going to finish it for you. Okay, so, and the same thing for the bottom position, right? 